Day 314. The Ukrainians seem to have doubled down on their efforts to reduce Russian personnel as much as possible. As you remember, the Russians have been sending a lot of forces through Berdyansk to Tokmak and Melitopol. We have already seen a lot of strikes near Tokmak, and now the time has come for those who headed in the direction of Melitopol. Interestingly, it turned out that a significant increase in force concentrations has been noted near the Dnipro River, in particular near Chilakivka and Fedorivka. When it comes to Chilakivka, this is one of the very few settlements in this region that serves as an important connection center as well as located far enough from the nearest Ukrainian position. However, even though the regular short-range artillery is not capable of reaching this target, Ukrainian Air Force still has the means necessary to reach this Russian base. Today the Ukrainian general staff reported that as a result of a Ukrainian precision strike on a Russian object near this village, the Ukrainians have inflicted around 500 losses on the Russians. Most of the killed soldiers are newly mobilized men. They finished their training in the camps inside Russia and were finally moved to the front. However, due to the bureaucratic nature of the Russian army, organizational issues are sorted extremely horribly. That is why the Russians were forced to deal with such bottlenecks and had to pack basically a whole tactical battalion group in one building, because the plan for dispersing the forces had not been ready. That is why the Ukrainian official stated that this successful wave of precision strikes is only the beginning. As Russian troops continue to migrate, all the Ukrainians need to do is just trace them and then hit the packed building at the end destination. Judging by the scandals in the Russian media space about the continuous violation of the operational security measures by the soldiers, tracing them and identifying areas of forces concentrations should not be too difficult. In fact, today the Ukrainian Air Force conducted 13 strikes. These strikes targeted not only concentrations, but also command posts and ammunition depots. One of the most successful strikes is expected to be in Fedorivka. The information about Russian losses here is still being specified. The Russians also started to target Ukrainian objects. Today a huge explosion was reported in Drushkivka. Here the Russians have struck a closed ice skating ring, which the Ukrainians basically used as a hangar for ammunition and equipment. Soon after the explosion, a video emerged of firemen putting out the fire inside the hangar. Judging by the video, the hangar was not equipped for stationing people, which is not surprising as Ukrainian soldiers are usually stationed in small houses to keep the groups in small numbers. There was also no sign of secondary detonations so it was definitely not an ammunition depot. Therefore, the hangar was highly likely used for hiding equipment, such as drones, cars or artillery. Another explosion was reported in Kramatorsk. The information about this particular strike is very scarce as of now. However, we know for sure that Kramatorsk is one of the most important military hubs in the region, with a lot of industrial zones. So the goal here was highly likely Ukrainian artillery systems, that have been causing them a lot of trouble lately. Nonetheless, it seems like the most important artillery systems, HIMARS, are constantly on the road right now. It looks like the Ukrainians are just going along the front line, raiding Russian bases and ammunition depots, and so far, pretty successfully. Over the last 3 or 4 days, the Ukrainians have inflicted around 2000 irretrievable combat losses to the Russians. If Ukrainian officials are correct, and this trend continues for a while, the Russians will have to launch another wave of mobilization very soon. Estonian Ministry of Defense commented on the potential of the Russian soldiers from the next wave of mobilization. They said that their quality will be even lower than of the first. And this conclusion is not surprising, because the resources are not endless and Russia is unable to provide its troops with all the necessities at this stage. That is why, according to Ukrainian intelligence, the ill-equipped, newly mobilized soldiers are used as cannon fodder by the professional forces that are standing right behind them. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine.
The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next report.